Hello, future Carbondale Community High School students. My name is Ryan Thomas. I am the principal at Carbondale Community High School. You are the future class of 2025 at CCHS. What you're about to watch are all of our amazing courses that we have to offer at CCHS. So please take a look at this video and we look forward to seeing you at CCHS next school year. Thank you. Hello, class of 2025. It's Mrs. Antrim. I wanted to take a minute to introduce myself and just tell you that I'm very excited about working with you throughout high school. I'm on maternity leave right now, but I'll be back in the summer to um, begin working with you through the next four years. It'll be an exciting time. I wanna encourage you to take your time as you pick out classes for freshman year. Think about your future and what you want that to look like and make sure you're setting yourself up for success. Have a good year and we look forward to having you at the high school. What do you want to be when you grow up? This is a question you get all the time while in elementary school. Now that you are heading to or are in high school, this question takes on a whole new meaning. In just a few short years, you will be choosing a career path and heading off to college, joining the military, entering an apprenticeship, or beginning a career. Carbondale Community High School's Career and Technical Education Department can help with this decision. If you are unsure of what path you want to take, we offer orientation level classes that will let you sample many different skills and decide which way to go. If you already know what you want to do, we offer skill level courses that will deepen your knowledge and get you ready for the next level. Many of these courses offer industry certification and or opportunities for college credit while in high school. If you are interested in working with computers, you may want to look at courses in the business area. Tech for Success is a great class for any student to take to ensure you have the digital literacy you will need for high school and develop skills for your in-demand jobs. Computer applications will help you deepen your knowledge in office applications such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, along with the Google equivalents. You will have the opportunity to earn Microsoft certification to enhance your portfolio and build your resume as well. Web page design is a course that you will learn about the coding and design aspect needed to make a website. Multimedia One is a course about digital photography and editing. You will learn about the best methods of using a DSLR camera to take pictures and edit them using industry recognized Adobe software. Multimedia Two will take the skills you learned in Multimedia One and make them move. You will learn about taking video and editing video. Students have made everything from viral social media videos to clips used for WSIL news. Programming One will teach you how to think computationally. Computationally, what does that even mean? This is how the code on the back end of the software program, video game, or website works. If you are more interested in nutrition, education, or clothing, you may want to look at our family and consumer science area. Introduction to Family and Consumer Science will give you an orientation to any of the programs offered in FCS. You will learn how to be a successful high school student, foods and nutrition, education careers, and clothing construction. If the culinary world is where you want to be, Foods One is a great start for you. You can learn about being a home cook, what it takes to prepare and make meals, and the nutritional value of these meals. Clothing and Textiles One will teach you how to make your own clothing and about the fashion world. You will learn how to sew by hand and using industry grade machines to create your designs. Clothing and Textiles 2 will expand on your knowledge learned in Clothing and Textiles 1 and apply this more towards the industry of clothing construction. You will learn to make unique designs and embroider onto material and products. If you are interested in something in the trades or engineering, the industrial technology area is for you. As a freshman, you can take the Intro to Tech and Engineering course. This class is an orientation to all things industrial offered at CCHS. You will learn skills in the engineering design field, woodworking, graphic communication, and robots. Don't forget, this is just your freshman year. There is a long way you can go in the Career and Technical Education Department. You can study further in any one of these areas, but also look at programs like Health Occupations Technology, culinary occupations, construction, mechanics, and education beginning your sophomore year. Take the opportunity to step into your future today with career and technical education at Carbondale Community High School. Welcome to Carbondale Community High School. My name is Mrs. Wheeler and I am head of the Health and Driver Education Department. We also have Mrs. Kabalich who teaches health, Mr. Storm who teaches health and driver education. 
As a freshman, first or second semester, you will want to sign up to take health. You have to have it to graduate. You have to have it and pass. Also, you may take driver education second semester of your freshman year, as long as you are 15 or you have met the birthday requirement. So we welcome you here at Carbondale Community High School. Go Terriers! Hi, eighth graders. I am Mrs. Harshi. I am the department chair of English at Carbondale Community High School. We are very excited to welcome you to high school next year. So some things you need to know about English class. Um, first of all, it's called English in high school, but in middle school, you probably had two classes called reading and language arts. We cover the same material as those, but we just combine it into one class called English. You will learn reading. Um, we'll do literature study and writing. We do all ty types of writing, creative, um, analytical writing about the literature that you read and research writing. Uh, we also have speaking and listening um, skills to practice, so we do a lot of classroom discussion, some formal um, speaking presentations as well. Um, you're placed into your English class based on your test scores and your teacher's recommendations. Um, you might also be placed in reading class based on your test scores, and there you will get extra help with skills in reading that will apply to all of your classes, not just English, but reading that you would do in social studies or science as well. Keep reading a lot. Check out our library as soon as you get here. There's a lot of great stuff in there for you, and we look forward to having you at the high school. Hello everyone, my name is Jason Perry and I'm one of the math teachers here at Carbondale Community High School. And here you're seeing a list of all the math teachers that are here at CCHS, including our department chair, Ms. Burt. If you're wondering what it takes for your student to have success in math at the high school level, several factors are actually involved. Math background, attendance, daily work, and class participation all play pivotal roles in broad range success. Ordinarily, standardized test scores would be used to place students into appropriate classes. However, that data is not available this year for all students. So this year, we're actually taking a team approach, and it's going to be central to student placement. CCHS math teachers are going to be coordinating with the grade school or middle school teachers to come up with the best fit for each individual student. These are the available classes for incoming freshmen. Integrated Algebra Geometry 1 is the first year of a three-year sequence that covers Algebra 1 and Geometry. Students in these classes typically require a little more assistance and a little bit more time in class to work on homework with the teacher's help. Algebra 1 is a standard college prep course. 
It is followed up by Geometry and Algebra 2 sophomore and junior year with options for trigonometry or dual credit classes in their senior year. AI1, which stands for Algebra Interventions 1, is a support class for only for students in Algebra 1. Students in this class have the ability but may need extra assistance due to various gaps in their prerequisite skills. It is taught by a member of the CCHS Math Department. The accelerated algebra and accelerated geometry are obviously in our accelerated track and will be differentiated based on their prior algebra skills. Which leads us to the algebra proficiency test. Placement into accelerated algebra requires passing the algebra proficiency test, which is typically held in late April or early May. Students who are eligible for accelerated algebra will receive more details about this test later this year. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to any of the math teachers, especially our department chair, Ms. Berg, at the email address brenda.berg at cchs165.com or by phone 457-3371, extension 261. You can also reach out at the counseling department at 457-3371, extension 226. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Hi there, my name is Michelle Thomas and I am the department chair for physical education. I also teach the majority of our freshman curriculum physical education classes. As a freshman, you're gonna have three options. The first option is our traditional freshman curriculum PE class. Now in this class, we really focus on in your individual fitness level and we work to improve cardiovascular fitness, muscular strength, muscular endurance. And we do this by introducing you to a whole variety of different activities. The second option that's new for next year is our early bird option. Now as a freshman in this option, you are going to be placed in a class with upperclassmen. This is also an individualized fitness uh, based class, but we, I will introduce you to team sports and a variety of different activities. The third option for our freshmen is um, our athletic strength training freshman curriculum class. This is for our incoming freshman athletes. In this class, you will be in, the, in our weight room um, two days a week. And we will introduce you to the different types of lifts. We will make sure that you know proper lifting technique, lifting form. We do um, focus on improving your cardiovascular fitness along with muscular strength and endurance. So that class is specifically geared for our incoming athletic um, freshman students. And in that class, you will be um, just with other freshmen. So we look forward to seeing you Hello everyone, this is Lena Dierks, the CCHS Science Department Chair. In this video, I would like to introduce you and your student to their freshman science year. Students will be placed into one of two science classes their freshman year. Students will take either biology or accelerated biology as a freshman. Placement into these classes takes place at the freshman placement meetings. At that meeting, I will discuss placement with your student's eighth grade science teacher. Also as a freshman, your student can take the science elective course, Botany and Agricultural Science. This is an elective course, so students would take it concurrently with their biology or accelerated biology class. It is also an early bird class, so students will need to provide their own transportation as class starts at 7.30. This class also provides students an opportunity to participate in FFA. Many parents want to know the difference between the biology and the accelerated biology class. Both classes focus on core science practices, such as inquiry hands-on labs, focused on claim evidence and reasoning, data collection and analysis, and cooperative learning. Both classes also teach the core biology concepts of ecology, cell biology, genetics, and diversity. The difference between the two classes focuses on the expectation of the student. In the accelerated biology class, your student will have more independent work outside of the classroom. Reading and math levels are taken into consideration for placement. Assessments are more complex and analytical and students are required to complete an independent project such as quarter projects or a science fair project. 
As always, if you have any questions concerning your student's placement, please feel free to call or email me. You can find my contact information on this slide. You can also ask your student's counselor about placement in any of their classes. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to meeting your student next year. Wow, those other videos were really good. And uh, I'm just here with my face and a PowerPoint. So sorry about that. My name is Justin Merriman. Uh, I'm a member of the Social Studies Department here at Carbondale Community High School. And I'm here to tell you about the offerings for freshmen in the Social Studies Department, uh, which are just the geography classes. We have two of them and I'll tell you about each. In the fall, we have World Geography, and that is available to both freshmen and sophomores. It is that class that you typically think of whenever you think of geography, countries, studying the maps, capital cities, that sort of thing. Yep, we're all about that. That's what we got going on. But we look at other things too. Uh, while we're at it, we take a pretty deep dive into comparative government systems around the world, uh, as well as economic systems. We keep track of current events as they play out in the units in which we study, uh, which tend to be based on geographical areas of the world. Uh, but then we kind of add in some things that maybe you wouldn't expect in a geography class, maybe more of like an earth science thing. Uh, we take a look at physical geography concepts, uh, which might include climate and weather, things like that, as well as natural hazards, natural disasters how the geography uh, can impact human life. That course transitions to human geography in the spring, which is, which is a totally different class. Students don't have to take uh, both of them. You can take one or the other. Uh, that is totally up to students. This is an elective, nothing's required. Uh, if students want to take human geography and not world geography, that is fine, or vice versa. But in the spring, we do offer human geography. And this is a little bit different from world geography in that our focus switches to studying culture, taking a look at major religions around the world, studying language families, deciphering linguistics behind that, uh, studying various scripts around the world, uh, identifying race, ethnicity, nationality, uh, population patterns and demographics around the world. Uh, we study things like immigration and what human labor tends to look like in the various economies around the world and how that impacts uh, people's lives. And uh, on a not so positive note, we do have a pretty heavy emphasis on genocide and where it has historically occurred uh, around the world and uh, the pretexts behind that. Uh, so two courses I really love teaching and I've had pretty good feedback from uh, freshmen in the past. So I hope you consider taking my class. There's the bell. I got to go teach. Greetings from the World Language Department here at CCHS. In this video, we have provided a slideshow of all of the information about our department and our programs. Feel free to pause this video as you're watching for more specific information about each course. We wanted to take the opportunity to introduce to the you to the teachers who could be your next world language facilitators. At CCHS, we have French, German, and Spanish. Here are the teachers that teach those courses. Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Ellis, and I am the French teacher here. My favorite thing about teaching French, one, is that it allows the silly side of me to come out whether it's finding fun videos, trying to act out what I'm trying to say to you, or playing learning games. Hope to see you next year. Guten Tag, ich heiße Frau Bassett. My name is Frau Bassett and I'm the German teacher here at CCHS. My favorite part of teaching German one is getting to play language learning games. They get really intense and are very competitive and are a lot of fun. And it's a great way to get engaged in the language and to um, get to know your peers. Hola, me llamo Senora Rendon. I'm Mrs. Rendon and I teach Spanish one. Um, I think the one of the things I like most about teaching level one classes is learning to um, know who the, the class is. Every class has its own personality and brings its own unique brand of fun. 
And so every hour is different and I really enjoy that. And I draw a lot in class, but I'm not an artist. So that provides a lot of entertainment for everyone. And we get a lot of laughs with that too. So I enjoy that part. And my name is Profe Lopez. I am also one of the Spanish one teachers. My favorite part about teaching Spanish one are the crazy ideas that my students come up with to create meaningful stories as we acquire language. Make sure that you talk to your counselor about signing up for a language class and we hope to see you next year.